Hi, this is my check-in week two. Um, I know it was delayed uh, for a little while. I was supposed to check in on Sunday and today is Tuesday, but Milwaukee experienced one of its hardest snowstorms in quite a while, so that put everybody on ice. Ha ha, literally. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Sunday I did balance and account for everything that needs to be done. Um, and then I paid rent, and I paid my cell phone bill. Those things are out in the mail. Uh, so that money is done. Everything has been accounted, and the, what was left has been moved to my savings account. Um, and what was needed for my bank for the week to pull my daily paycheck has been put into there. So all things said and done, <clears throat> uh... I've got $4 left from the discretionary money that I give myself every month. So on the first of every month, I give myself $20, which is budgeted in as a discretionary uh, extra. And I've already spent 16 of that $20 um, on frivolous, very extremely frivolous things. Um, foolish things. Um, I did buy $10 worth of groceries um, on Sunday, so that has kind of uh, been okay for food. Um, and I also had a friend stop by and bring over a grab bag of sorts of groceries, which uh, was good and allows for me to eat further <laughs> without having to worry about tapping into what I have daily, which is actually kind of nice. Um, as far as the week uh, in review is concerned, um, I learned quite a bit about poverty and what it means to make emotionally hard decisions financially. Um, obviously, cigarettes are not important when the choice is between cigarettes or food. Um, what I did do incorrectly, which is what I'll strive to do this week, is that um, just because I pull an eight for the day for a daily paycheck does not mean I can go and spend that six dollars or seven dollars on cigarettes so just because I get the money to buy cigarettes doesn't mean I should be buying cigarettes um, so that was a very emotional uh, thing for this week um, I know it doesn't sound like much it doesn't seem like much but for someone who uh, considers smoking uh, something they enjoy it's very difficult when you have to cut it out so, um, aside from that, I've had plenty of offers. I had um, <clears throat> my friend, friend of mine, my boss, Jake, uh, took me out for dinner on Wednesday night. A uh, friend of mine took me out for dinner on Friday night for uh, fish fry, which was quite nice uh, for that. So I had some good meals in my belly. Um, I've been eating a lot of oatmeal, <laughs> a lot of rice, a lot of beans. Uh, I've learned how to kind of manipulate them with seasonings and whatnot so it kind of gives me a little bit different taste every day so I'm not just eating one item. Um, I had tomato soup with rice the other night and that was phenomenal. It was probably the best thing I've tasted in a very long time. <laughs> Which is sad because it was tomato soup and rice but it was so delicious. I mean it was beyond um, appropriate, uh, let's say. It was wonderful. It was absolutely wonderful. So, aside from, like I said, aside from a little bit of an emotional strain, um, as, as far as finances are concerned, um, I'm in very good spirits. I've been doing well. Uh, I feel like I've lost some weight. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly how much because I have a knot. Uh, I didn't have a starting weight. I should have done that. But I feel pretty light <laughs> lately. Um, I know that when I eat a big meal, it physically hurts me. So um, I've obviously shrunk my stomach enough to uh, become accustomed to my new diet, which is uh, very minimal compared to what I used to eat. Um, I mean, I could put away an entire frozen pizza, a bag of chips, a two liter bottle of soda, and that would be lunch. Um, accompanied with like candy and something else on the side so I mean that I was eating a lot more food uh, than was appropriate to begin with 
So now that I'm eating a lot less than is appropriate, my body is going through some pretty hard physical changes, but um, nothing that I can't survive. Um, so, uh, school debt has been taken care of, so what was previously owed has now been paid. So I don't only have current debt, which is hanging over my head. School is $843 a month. And even on my budget, I'm still outside of that payment um, by at least $700 a month. So as far as poverty is concerned and living in poverty is concerned, it's not exactly easy to do to pay for a college education and continue to live under $15,000 a year. So the income alone is not enough to pay what I need to do, which means the, my choices are very limited. I can either start doing um, the micro loans and selling items that I'm currently making so that I can make additional money to pay the bills I need to pay, or I need to take my already pretty much overloaded schedule and add a second job onto that. So that will be difficult. Um, a difficult choice that needs to come. Plus, I also need to register for health insurance because I've never done that. So that will be a cost that will be coming into it. Um, that will be uh, an additional cost that's unforeseen when I started this program um, or this campaign. But again, poverty is not something that you can plan for. <laughs> this is something that just kind of sneaks up on you whether you like it or not. So. I'm learning a lot about myself, I'm learning a lot about uh, the people I interact with and who are the ones that I can truly depend on and the ones that I, um, that don't really go beyond the surface. Um, and that's a hard realization too. That's pretty difficult. You really expect your friends and family to be there for you. And when they're not, um, it changes things. So. Aside from all of that, um, like I said, I am doing good. Here I am in my bathroom yet again. There's Condi over my shoulder. So uh, as long as I have the Count of France hanging around, I am in good spirits and in good company. So continue to check your updates. Continue to check the Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus feeds that are coming through um, and enjoy what is happening here and what will continue to happen. God bless.